Okay, so in the previous video, we described what a moment was. I went over the definition as well as the mathematical description of how we can describe a moment. So remember, a moment is a vector quantity, and this vector quantity is usually caused by a external force. In the case of the wrench example uh, in the last video, we had this force, and it was actually acting this way, but in this example, I'm going to show you how to calculate the moment that this force going down produces on this bolt right here. I'm actually going to do this example two ways. The first way, which is this video, is going to be just figuring out the magnitude of the moment that's caused by this force F, and then using our right-hand rule and what we know about the right-hand rule to determine the direction of the moment. So if it's going this way, or if it's going the other way. And in the next video, I'm going to do the same example, but I'm going to introduce unit vectors. So this position vector r and this force vector f, we are going to break down into its x and y components and then use this formula to figure out what the moment and the direction or the magnitude and the direction of that moment is. So for this video, I want to start off by saying that this picture or this diagram right here is of a wrench that is trying to turn a bolt. So this bolt right here is into the page and this wrench is either going to turn this way or it's going to turn the other way. And if this force right here has a line of action this way, then the position vector r is going to go from this point right here all the way to that line of action for this force. And these two vectors are going to be perpendicular. Now, in the last video, I mentioned that the magnitude of that moment, so the magnitude right here, is really the scalar quantities r times f times the sine of the angle between them, which I just called theta. Now, because these uh, this uh, position vector and this force vector are perpendicular to one another, the angle, which is theta, between them is simply 90 degrees. And we know that the sine of 90 degrees, so if this was equal to 90, the sine of 90 is simply 1. So the magnitude of this moment right here is just going to be the values r times f. So let's figure that out. Well, r is just the distance or the scalar quantity of the position vector. And if you remember, the position vector goes from this origin all the way to this force's line of action in this direction. And down here, I've described that as the quantity 0 0.25. And the units are meters. So this is the point of origin all the way to the line of action for this force is a quarter of a meter. Okay, so r is simply going to be 0 0.25 meters. Now, what about this force value right here? Well, the force that we're applying to the wrench at the end of the wrench that's causing it to turn this way is simply 12 newtons. So I can just multiply that by 12 newtons. And remember, I'm not necessarily taking into account that this force is going down as opposed to going up because that indicates direction. And that's because R and F right here in this formula are just the scalar quantities of the force vector F and the position vector R. So it's just the quantities, the values of those two vectors. And those are simply 0.25 and 12. So solving this out, and actually, of course, we're multiplying that by 1, right, because of this sine of 90, and if we multiply this out, we get 3 newton meters. So right away, you can see that the units for a moment are force times distance. So newtons is a measure of force. Meters is a measure of distance. Okay, great. So we have the magnitude of this moment force. Now we need to know the direction. So there's a few ways to do this. First, intuitively, you can see that if I'm pushing down on the wrench end here, you can see that this wrench is going to turn this way. So the moment about the bolt is also going to be in that same direction. So what I can say down here is the moment 
is equal to three Newton meters. And what I like to do to indicate direction is I just draw a little circle with an arrow and I say that this is the direction of that moment. And this right here just states that the moment is acting in a clockwise direction. Now remember, in the last video, I said that a counterclockwise direction is positive. So a clockwise direction in this case would actually be negative. So really, this is three Newton meters in the negative direction. Now, if you're trying to understand what that means, it means that the moment at this point right here is acting into the page because we said that the moment or the axis coming out of the page towards you is positive. So if this force is going down and it's causing a clockwise rotation or a clockwise moment about this bolt, then the direction is going to be into the page or into the bolt. That's because of this definition right here. We said clockwise is negative and counterclockwise is positive. Now, very quickly, if you want to do this the right-hand rule way, what I can do down here is I can say that, well, we have this force vector right here, and this is F equals 12 newtons, and the position vector, the position vector acts from the bolt all the way to the line of action of that force. So this right here is our position vector R. Now, if I take both of these vectors right here and I connect their tails together, well, I can move this force vector over here, and then I can draw the tail of that position vector going from F uh, out in the direction that it's described as. This is R right here. We can use our right-hand rule to figure out what direction this moment is going. So I'm going to zoom in right here, and I'm going to show you the right-hand rule for this example right here. So remember, you take your right-hand rule, and our moment, remember our moment equation was R cross F. So that means we're taking our four, uh, four fingers right here, and we're putting them on the position vector, the first vector, and we are curling our fingers or crossing them towards the second vector, which is this F vector right here. So R cross F, if I do the right hand rule, you can see that my thumb is going into the page instead of coming out of the page. So we know that the direction of this moment is going to go into the page. And if you look at the right hand and you're curling it this way, you can see that the rotation is going to be in this direction. So it's going to rotate this way. And so that makes sense, right? Because if we look back over here, we indicated that this uh, moment is going to act in the clockwise direction. So this is the direction of the moment, and this is the final answer for this example.